It's 7.45, um, Wednesday evening, August the 10th, and uh, we are here on, um, oh man, Benai, yeah, I think it's Benai um, National Forest, maybe slash National Grasslands, I don't remember which one it was, to tell you the truth, uh, but it, I, you know, in a way, they're one and the same, you know, they're just, uh, it's the, you know, the... Uh, federal property but uh, i know i had been seeing national grasslands but i think this might be national forest but uh so anyhow yeah we're just back in here a ways a little ways from a uh, day use area up there and um just right off the road here and uh you know right off this uh dirt or actually sand a lot of that sand if i was over there i was going to show you actually i'm sitting i'm uh, i'm on old zeke here right now it's where i just ate my dinner um I've been sitting on him a good part of the day, and why not sit on him to eat dinner too? But anyhow, but yeah, that uh, they're in the middle, or on the uh, where the you know tires go on either side is sand, and back there it was uh, some pretty deep sand. Where I tell you, man, we, how about uh, about uh, went down a time or two? It was it was pretty hairy. Um, I just I have you know, and I don't know if there's a technique for sand. You know, again, I am a, a new rider. Um, I mean, I got a lot of road miles now, but still sand I, I don't have any real experience with outside of the, the few times I have hit it on this trip. And every time it's been it's been sketchy. So, like I said, I don't know if there's a technique or what that I don't know. But uh, thankfully, I was able to get turned around back here and then make it back up this way. And it's not as bad here. And I was able to pull off to the side and again make camp. So, um... 196.6 miles today, um, like the first 23 and a half of them was uh, taking a right around and, and then out of uh, Theodore Roosevelt National Park this morning, and uh, I enjoyed that. It was, it was a beautiful park. Uh, you know, what a bonus, what a blessing. Like I said last night, <clears throat> I knew nothing about the place. I can't say that I ever even heard of it. And uh, so that was cool to, you know, get to experience it. And two, coming in last night, I didn't say, uh, saw some bison. There was a group of bison off to the uh, side of the road. And then coming out this morning, I saw a single bison up on the hillside. So, I mean, that's cool. I love seeing them. Uh, something else, too, as far as wildlife. Uh, riding yesterday, and I would have still been out in Montana, yesterday afternoon, <clears throat> I saw a, uh, an eagle perched up on top of a telephone pole, which was kind of different, but uh, definitely cool. Um, let's see, what else? did want to mention some numbers. I had also said yesterday there at the uh, Dakota border, I was in Montana for like, I think I said eight days. It was actually like 10 days, 10 great days in Montana. Um, and two, uh, getting that room there in Montana or Malta at the Maltana. Uh, that had been, that was like the, uh, just over two weeks since uh, since I had had a room. That was um, about 15, I guess it was the 16th night since I had had a room, I guess. And uh, so it was definitely, definitely due time. And, you know, I've already talked about how much I enjoyed that place, which I would have enjoyed it, you know, regardless, you know, how long it had been. But uh, it was great. Um, people met a lot of people today. I enjoyed uh meeting, talking to a lot of folks there at the visitor center at uh, Theodore Roosevelt before uh, we left this morning. Uh, met a guy named Dwight <clears throat> who had a big RV and had his KLR 650 mounted up on the back of the uh, RV so that when he gets to places, he can take the bike down and just ride all over, which I think is pretty wild, pretty cool. Um, so talked to Dwight a bit. Good to meet you, man. Good talking to you. And, uh, sounds like too, it was cool. He was checking uh, Zeke out and looking at all the stickers and sounded like he'd been to most of those places. Uh, even, even Chicken, Alaska. But speaking of, also, there in the uh, parking lot, met some nice folks from, uh, Kentucky who had dropped her, uh, granddaughter off at university out here somewhere. Um, I guess maybe North Dakota Univer University, something to that effect. I'm not sure, but uh, she got a, uh, a volleyball scholarship, which that's you know good good for her, you know. Um, 
It's pretty amazing. But uh, these folks from Kentucky, from Western Kentucky, um, even they had been the chicken. Um, yeah, yeah, he had, uh, which, you know, it's really surprising. A lot of people's never heard, well, I never heard of chicken Alaska until this trip. And, uh, but then to meet two people in that parking lot who had actually been to chicken Alaska, I think was, was pretty neat. Um, but nice folks and good talking to, you know, you guys as well. Um, they've got a, uh, it's a, uh, sister-in-law, I believe it is. The, uh, the wife does, a uh, sister-in-law who, who has, um, Lou Gehrig's disease real bad. Well, I mean, I guess you have Lou Gehrig's disease. I mean, you have it bad. That's a horrible disease. We've had two friends of the family die from that and. It is a horrible disease. So, you know, I'm just so sorry to hear that. And, you know, like I said, I will certainly remember to pray, you know, for her and for the family. Um, and then also met some folks from um, northwest Iowa. Um, Ron and Denise Vanderslug or Vanderflug. Thought I was going to impress uh, you all with uh, remembering your name. And I, I think I'm getting it pretty close, but. I know it's, it's, I'm pretty sure it's one or the other. I apologize. I don't remember exactly, but, uh, Ron and, uh, Denise, Ron and Denise, uh, they, uh, sound like they do quite a bit of riding themselves. They have a great old big, uh, gold wing, um, a gold wing trike actually. And then also with a, the, uh, they pull a trailer behind it, <clears throat> excuse me, pull a trailer, a trailer behind it and all that. And sound like when they go out though for their excursions, I think, uh, I think Ron said they'll do, you know, three, 4,000 miles, which that's definitely putting the miles on. So it's, uh, and just nice people and just, uh, great to meet you all and good time, you know, good talking to you guys as well. Um, later at a gas station, I stopped for some snacks. Actually, I really, it was, it was my breakfast. I hadn't eaten and it was up in the afternoon and stopped for some good old gas station food. Um, and I met a uh, young man named Paul who uh, doesn't have a bike at the moment, but uh, he's done quite a bit of riding. I think he said he's had seven or eight bikes. <clears throat> just doesn't have one right now. But uh, just seemed like an exciting, uh, very personable uh, guy. It was it's good to meet you there, Paul. And I uh, hope you're watching, man. I know you uh, you pulled me up right then. So, uh, yeah, I, I appreciate it, man. So, thank you. Um, And lastly, but by no means least, I uh, came into Minot late this afternoon and uh, had to go to CVS to get my blood pressure medication. I also had went to the uh, Walmart just before. You know, I had called my doctor's office and had them send it to uh, the Walmart in Minot, North Dakota. <clears throat> I called them uh, this afternoon, the Walmart, to ask the uh, pharmacy if my uh, medication was ready. And uh, the woman tells me that uh, they don't have a pharmacy. And I was like, you don't? And she said, not in North Dakota. So I don't know if that means no Walmart in North Dakota has a pharmacy. I mean, that's the way I took it, which just kind of kind of blows my mind. It's very surprising because, you know, going in there, it looked like it was still, you know, it was a super Walmart, but just uh, no pharmacy. Which, uh, like I said, I just find that to be odd. So needless to say, my blood pressure medication was not there. And then uh, I did, I know I had a uh, voicemail from my doctor's office after I called, but they always call back and confirm, you know, that it's done. So when I knew I had the voicemail from them from yesterday, I assumed that's what it was. But actually they were telling me to call them back because, you know, clearly they needed another place to send it. So I did call them and, and it was sent to a CVS and Minot. And I went there and picked it up, talked to a woman before I went in. And then when I came back out as well, just... uh just a sweet woman. You can just tell, man. Just really pleasant disposition. And um, she had asked about the bike. Asked about old Zeke if I really rode it to Alaska. And, you know, I told her about going to Key West, too, of course. And uh, she was on the phone telling somebody about it. Could have been her man. But, uh, but again, just a really nice woman. And it turns out she is a sister. And her name completely uh, is uh, it's the word befitting. Um, her name is Joy. And Joy was was a true for the just few moments I spoke to her, she was a blessing, and it was really great to meet you there, Joy. She said she'd be praying for me on my travels. Told her I really need it, I really appreciate it. And uh, Joy, I will certainly pray for you and yours as well. So thank you so much, and just again, God bless you, and just great to meet you. Um, 
So, let me see. I think I've just about got everything covered. You know, it was crazy. Um, well, I wouldn't say it's crazy, but, you know, yesterday I had all those bugs, all those grasshoppers. Uh, today, I don't, I was going to say, I don't know if I saw the first grasshopper. Well, I might have saw a grasshopper, but nothing like yesterday. But that said, the... Uh, the uh, terrain, just everything about it, uh, just changed today. Even just going down to the, uh, you know, coming into North Dakota yesterday evening and then going down to uh, Theodore Roosevelt. You know, it had a real southwest look down there. But then coming up through here today, um, a lot of it really, you know, the later and, you know, the more, I guess, this way I came, um, it just really it looked like Ohio. It looked like it could be Ohio. It started getting green, you know. I started seeing, you know, uh, green fields and all that versus just all the brown that I'd seen, uh, you know, further back. And then, you know, into Montana, of course, where it was pretty much all brown with the, um, I don't know if that was hay or or wheat or what. So all that golden brown stuff I was seeing so much of here uh, yesterday in particular. It was beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful. Uh, but anyhow, yeah, I started seeing green, and you know well, what you're seeing around me here. You know, I mean, this this looks like this this could be Ohio, but uh, and it's and it's flat. You know, it's it's pretty flat, and there's been there's been a number of like ponds and and lakes and stuff like that, which that's always just nice to see along the road. Uh, there were some white-tailed deer on the on the road coming in up here uh, before I turned into the uh, national forest, just on this you know side road these folks live on. It looks like uh, you know just. Uh, kind of a, well, I wouldn't call it residential, just country road where folks live off of it. But uh, anyhow, um, yeah, and to uh, talk about coming into uh, South Dakota yesterday evening, when I came in, I lost an hour. Evidently, I came from Mountain Time into Central. I lost an hour. Then when I, by the time I was down at Theodore Roosevelt, must have been back in Mountain because I'd gained an hour. But then coming back out, you know, again today at some point, I, once again, I lost an hour. So, uh, you know, back in central time, and I'm only a mile, you know, different, a mile. I'm only an hour difference from, uh, you know, back home, which uh, is the closest I've been in a long time, uh, as far as, the, you know, being in sync on our time. Um, and two, uh did want to mention uh, there last night, uh, yeah, Theodore Roosevelt, you know, I mean, I am... I am out of bear country. I'm pretty sure I was out of bear country there because I did not sleep with uh, my Amigo or um, my bear spray yesterday evening, and nor did I, uh, nor did I, you know, trek my food down the trailways or anything. And you know, I, well, I wouldn't have done that in this in the national park, but still, you know, I mean, everything food was right there at the campsite with me, and like I said, no. Uh, no firearm or, or bear spray and uh tell you as much as i love the whole bear thing and seeing all them bears um it does not hurt my feelings that uh i don't have to uh you know be conscientious of that anymore at least right now i don't i mean there'll be other places you know lord willing uh you know on this travel um on this journey to where i'll still you know be back in bear country which would be cool maybe lord willing i'll see some more bears but uh but right now yeah i don't think it's something i have to mess with which it's all right with me. Um, all the way up to almost 14 minutes here. So, all oh, to that uh, that campground last night, you know, National Park Campground. Oh, I was getting tired, sorry. The National Park Campground, um, $14. That's a good deal. I mean, especially for a national park. Um, yeah, I mean, I, th I think it was a great deal. I didn't know what to expect, how much it would be. You know, I'm sure... You know, Theodore Roosevelt doesn't get, you know, obviously the the vis the uh, visitors that a uh, heck of a lot of the parks do. But uh, so that's that probably has something to do with it being cheaper. But regardless, I mean, I think it was a, it was a beautiful park and it was a great price to camp. It was a nice campsite, nice campground. Um, I have not talked to family today i called Lori earlier and i didn't get her so i'm gonna shut this down and i'm gonna call her again uh lord willing i'm gonna call my folks and uh for tonight that'll probably be about it but uh thank you all so much for watching um god bless you guys and, and good night